Welcome back, everybody. This is Jason Seekers. We are going to have some fun doing a little dude, old-timey character in Adobe Illustrator. First thing we're going to do is go File New. We're going to go nice and slow so you can follow along at home. All of our tutorials are 5x5, five five, and then everything else is pretty well default. I do RGB just because I do a lot on the Internet, so RGB works out quite well for that. I am going to hide my artboards and then I also would recommend turning on your smart guides. Next we're going to go file place. We are looking for our resource image. If you have not gone to Jason Seacrest not yet, that is where all of the resource materials are hanging out. I will email you the public folder and then all of the resources folder, all of the resources are just hanging out for you. Uh, as well as all of the new ones will be automatically added. So what I will be doing is creating a new layer. I also did transparency to right around 30% on my template layer and then I locked it out. Let's zoom in. Now just so you guys are aware, I am going to be showing you just how I am doing it on the original. And then what this actually turns into is the anchor point guide. So you're going to notice that I follow along to a very similar process. Today what we're going to be building on is our efficiency. So you're going to notice that we are doing everything in straight lines first. Now the trick is I'm hanging out with my left hand on P since I'm going to be resetting but everything is a straight line you're gonna notice that we're not doing anything with curves yet and all I'm looking for is where either if I say hey where would a good break be and or where would the the curves be so I usually look for change in direction and or curves and then I also kinda of think about where I would like the brushes to be so some of you have already done a few of our tutorials in the past and you can kinda of think of hey where would I want thick lines to be where would I want the tapered line to be and so you will notice that I usually try to do either one two three or just stay into the uh, two points just so I have more control over the brush if it goes a little bit longer then it's usually for the face or the hair or something like that but all we are doing is straight lines nothing is curved and it is a very very simple little process so if you guys are following along at home what I would be doing during this process is you can always pause especially if we start working on efficiency just pause it look where your anchor points are and then you're just going to follow along another little good little tidbit is to uh, take the one of the endpoints, you can always pause it and or just go to Jason Seacrest where I show you the entire process and then you can go along at your own pace. So especially if we move fast, that is just so we can start to work on the pen tool and then we can work on your shortcuts. So all we are doing again, straight lines, I am looking for ends and, and every single time that we you see a new line, just be aware that I am clicking P. So that is why my left hand is hanging out on the uh, P key. So if I want to reset the line, then we're able to do that. So this is where in the normal t tutorials you'll hear me say click P, click P, and that's so we can reset the line and then it'll uh, go from there. So this one is just going to be connecting. Again, straight lines makes everything very, very easy. The only hard part whenever you're doing it in this fashion is sometimes the lines come back on itself which makes it a little bit more confusing but as long as you're the one drawing your cartoons it does make a little bit more sense and again you will have the anchor point guide so all you are looking for and this guy's pretty easy that's why I'm doing it this way that it's not going to be that challenging to find where the anchors are okay cranking along cranking along looking for joints now sometimes you'll see joints sometimes you'll see hey I want a sharp edge and that's where the lines will go but we also are just looking at where and the pacing of it so you guys can get a little bit faster okay that's gonna connect good we are now going to be moving on to the body and then we are all done hard part will be over I'm gonna click here that's gonna come back this will be the back side of the coat this will be a little bit of a fold this will be a little crease in his shirt alright let's go to a circle I'm gonna be holding down shift and alt option click C that'll be the scissor tool and if you need to zoom in so it says path Whenever you're doing the scissor tool, just be aware that you're not clicking on an anchor point. A lot of times that'll kill 
the shape itself. For the heel, I'm holding down shift. We're gonna do where the curves come and then back in by the ankle. Good. Click P again. We're gonna go right down by the knee And you will notice that if it's even if it's overlapped, I'll still continue the shape just so I can modify, hey, does this actually look correct? So some of you, I have been getting comments, and this is why we're kind of setting up this video this way, just so you can kind of see, uh, one, how I would build the anchor point guide, and then number two is just how I would start normally. So if I didn't have an anchor point guide, or if you're just drawing yourself, what would be good some good ways of doing it so again little tidbits as you guys are going through I think straight lines is way way easier I would save at this point in time but the other little tidbit to take away is uh, we're looking for change of direction or where I would want my curves now I like the curves kind of at the point and I can control the curves and then I also want to limit the amount of points so I'm trying to keep everything very limited so I have uh, one, I don't have points everywhere, so it's easier to control, and then I can also control my brushes. So at this point in time, and for this part, we're just going to speed it up a little bit because we are going to be saying Shift C a crazy amount of time. So all we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for a couple different things. We are either looking for an end where we can do Shift C, and or we are going to be looking for the corners. So really, this is going to be depending on what shape you are looking for. If it's going to be a sharp point, then I would be looking for the middle, especially if you want something uh, rounded in the middle but more short, sharp at the ends. So let's say for this little elbow peak, I'm going to be doing the curve on the rounded part. If it is going to be uh, the opposite, so let's say if it's just two points, then it really doesn't matter because we're not going to be messing up any of the points. So a lot of times when we do our shift C, we are trying to uh, establish a sharp point and or the curve. So that is where we're going to come in and do those two things. Now keep in mind you guys are going to be looking at the handles on the anchor point guides so that's why we're going to be able to speed it up a little bit on this since you already can see where the handles are going to go and some of you guys have probably already moved up on to uh, doing the shift C and it would be crazy redundant for me to say shift C uh, this many times since we're doing it all this way. Um, and this is basically where I go, and then I just file save, and then that would be where we would do our anchor point guide. So at this point, I would say this. Let's pause it. Let is, and this is basically what you guys are staring at. So all of the shift C's, you are already looking at all of the handles. So it is going to be very easy for you to follow along at home. We just kind of changed some things up a little bit on this video. I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, we are going to be moving on to the next video where we're going to be doing our brushes, live paint, and then basically calling it quit. So on the next video, we're going to be doing... Uh, all of the next steps. I do not speed anything up on the next video, just so you guys are aware. And then I think it's going to be quite easy for you to follow along at home. So other than that, I will see you guys on the coloring tutorial on the next uh, video.